Turn up, there'll be maybe 100 people there. Um, so, when you first get accepted, you go into the training centre, you do 15 weeks, like intense training, which teaches abroad, broadly, how to use everything safely. I think it was about 110 people on the day I went, there was about four or five of us left at the end of the day. And then you get put on station, and then that's when you start to get better and sort of learning. So, from the start to finish, it's probably about three years. Driver, his main responsibility is to get us there, get us there to the fire, uh, via the directions that we all sort of shout to him from the back. C2 Fire at Fulton Lane Greenfield. He's going to go and have a look, see what's going on. Obviously, we can't see nothing from here because there's no smoke. We generally get people pointing in the right direction of where it is. But They've got a radio, I've got a radio, if we need any, any water or anything, they'll just give me a shower and I'll make my way down there. When summer comes, we tend to get really busy with things like this, because uh, obviously more people are outside and we tend to get barbecues going wrong and you know stuff like that, because a lot, you know, when the, this time of year comes, people are spending a lot more time outside than what they are through the winter, so yeah. I'd say this is getting more towards the day-to-day -to -day work. You need out? No, on arrival. There you go, so it's out burnt itself out so most afternoons when we're uh, working a day shift we'll come out in the afternoon we'll do uh, some sort of fire safety or some sort of risk reduction work so we'll just make our way up and down the street and uh, knock on the doors and see if anybody wants a, a smoke alarm Shall I receive him? Tommy, go ahead. Tommy, spares, where are you, mate? I've done uh, work at Woodstock, we're on uh, Coverdale Square now, we're in number 18 and I don't know the other two are. Just been uh, going to, down the streets, uh, doing whole fire risk assessments. Uh, we go into people's houses and we offer the opportunity to free smoke alarms and uh, give them a fire safety chat. We do that. We try to do it in every house in Bolton. You guys seem to uh, rescue cats a lot, or is it? I think we've done it once. A cat? How many times have you done a cat, Martin? A few times. You were like a professional cat rescuer. <laughs> <A> professional cat rescuer. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was your dream job as a kid? Oh, it must have been a pilot or something like that. Like the old dream of fighter pilot, top gun and all that stuff. So you went from flying to putting Yeah, and rescuing cats. And it was just before I joined the watch, and it's generally known in the Bolton area, but one of our guys got badly burned. Uh, it was a house fire that had been started, apparently deliberate by a, a, a wheel bin that had been put up to the front door of a house, set on fire. Uh, there was a family trapped inside the house, and uh, it was basically a pandemonium because uh, it was quite hard to get to in terms of access uh, but just by the nature of the job he ended up getting uh, badly burned and, and since had to retire only recently just had to retire. Um, I had an incident where a guy had uh, apparently committed suicide and doused himself in petrol and uh, yeah so I decided to end his life end his life that way so that wasn't very pleasant. There's about 10 of us on duty so we're like a, a small family really. term as the smokehouse. Uh, this is a building where we can uh, do realistic uh, training. So we try and simulate it as much as we can. So they've come into this room 
and because they need to search it systematically, they've, they've stuck to the wall. Now, when we do training here, it's in pitch dark. Even these so-called nice little lights aren't on for us either. Um, there could be some electricity cables hanging, so we are we're sort of maintain what's called self-protection. The checking above them with the hand, and the stepping gingerly forward all the time. Just got to generally watch, you know, your footing because if you trip up, especially with the BA set on, you're a little bit sort of top heavy. Behind every door. There might be a casualty who's not or occupier who's not managed just to get out that, that last bit. You're out, but generally we're probably in a fire. If it was quite a, a decent fire, you'd probably be inside for anything between 25 up to maybe 40 minutes. 